Which one should you get? The Aco Dracula or the Aco Button? One wants to suck your lube, the other, well, it's exciting. Hey everyone, it's Mega here. Today we're diving into the thrilling world of Akko's latest switches, the Akko Dracula and the Akko Botany. With both dropping at around the same time, you might be scratching your head wondering which one should you choose. But fear not, I'm here to guide you through this electrifying decision. Quick disclaimer, Akko sent these switches over for an honest and unbiased review, and that's exactly what we're going to do here today. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Both switches feature a PA6 bottom housing, a nylon variant Akko loves to use. But here's where it gets interesting. The Dracula switches have a unique hole at the bottom of the middle pin. Akko claims it's for better airflow, but I suspect it's to reduce air pressure as well. Is it a clever design or a bit of over-engineering? You decide. For the top housing, the Draculas use the POK material, while the Botany switches sport a PA12 blend. This is a fresh twist from Akko. Plus, this RGB diffusers on the Dracula switches make them pop off on an RGB keyboard. If you're into that vibrant glow, you're in for a treat. Let's talk about springs. Dracula switches come with a 35 gram, 22 millimeter spring, while the Botany switches have a slightly heavier 38 gram spring. Same length, 22 mm also. But seriously, Akko, why the trend of lighter springs? Can we get a 60 gram force option? Just a thought. Moving on to the stems. The Dracula switches feature a smooth linear stem that glides effortlessly providing that satisfying feel with every keystroke. On the other hand, the Botany switches offer a linear experience but with a slightly different feedback. If you're on Team Clack, you might find that the Botany switches will be your new best friend. So let's take a listen to both the Botany switches and the Dracula switches on my Neo 70 with Keytox Wandering Earth keycaps. So, here are my thoughts on both switches. Let's start with smoothness. Price is not even an issue anymore. Both switches are really smooth, no question about it. The difference of smoothness is barely comparable. As for the sounds, honestly, I think in terms of the spectrum of how Akko wanted their switches, I think it goes from Rosewoods being the deepest or the thockiest of them all, the Draculas, and then the Botany switches. This is... Of course, the Draculas are in the middle because of its mixed sound, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because you get a deeper sounding switch that isn't really muted and it's not over lubed. 
and it's still very smooth so no mushy bottom out but if you want something louder higher pitched and overall crispier then you should choose the botany switches they are a great switch for those of us on team clack both switches are great options for linear switches they are both smooth and sound really refined no matter what your preference is akko knew what they were doing when they released both switches so which one do you guys like the botany switches or the dracula switches let me know in the comments below while you're there give me a subscribe will you helps me make more content like this see you on the next one bye bye